Good morning, family of God. This is Vicki and Chuck. Welcome to Morning Sessions. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us here in this little corner of God's vineyard. This is gonna be a wonderful day. Oh my goodness, has anybody here in the vineyard been going through some stuff lately? <laughs> oh. Well, we have a father the Lord God Almighty, who is able to handle every single thing we go through if we will just take it to Him. Father, thank You. Thank You for letting us know that You're God, that You are Almighty, that nobody can defeat You. Thank you for loving us when we, oh Lord, when we just get all, we get all messed up, we struggle, we wrestle, we, we get frustrated. Thank you for bringing us back to the place of peace as we come into your presence and draw apart away from all of the noise of the world. Forgive us, Father, for not just staying there all of the time and for allowing any of those things to interfere. Father, this morning I want to pray for everybody in the body of Christ. Lord, I am amazed by the amount of division and accusation and name-calling and God help us. I think about how you told us people were going to know who you were by the love that we have for one another. They were going to see you when they saw us loving one another in the body. Lord, this is a work only you can do because there is so much division. I cannot imagine how it grieves your heart. And I just think of an earthly parent who has children that will not stop fighting with each other, will not stop accusing one another. God, for all of us here in the vineyard who are willing to say this, we're sorry, Father. We are sorry. Lord, help us, help us be humble. You've given us such a beautiful path, a way to come to you through the gift of your son, Jesus the Christ. And Father, people argue over the dumbest things. People are offended by brothers and sisters in Christ when we have enough people in the world, we have enough enemies outside of the body that are more than willing to persecute us. Lord God, why do we listen to the enemy and willingly allow him to cause us to persecute one another? Forgive us, Father. You said we see in part and we know in part. And that's so true. There's not one of us down here on this earth that has all of the understanding. Not one. We are frail vessels and we are, hopefully we are all trying to work out our salvation with fear and trembling before you. 
And God, if we're not, please wake us up. This morning, Father, we want to pray for all of our brothers and sisters in Christ. I think about your word where you say there's going to come a day when even those in the body of Christ would kill their brothers and sisters thinking they did you a favor. And I think about how that's already going on verbally. So just probably every day, the name calling and the belittling, Jesus help us. Father, I pray for all of us here in this little corner of your vineyard and we all join together and pray for the whole body of Christ. All of the ones who profess your name, who in their frailty and in their weakness, just like we in our frailty and our weakness, our weaknesses are trying to figure it out and follow you. We pray for them all. We pray for all of us. You're our Father. Lord God, open our eyes. Help us see what we need to see. Help us remember the most important thing we will do is to love you with all that we are and to love one another not accuse, not belittle, not turn away from because we don't agree on every point of doctrine. Lord Jesus, you told me you are the doctrine and I believe you. You are the doctrine. So thank you for what you've done Thank you for coming and giving your life, for showing us how to live, for being the perfect example and the perfect sacrifice, for making a way nobody else could ever make. You are the Lamb of God and you are the Lion of the tribe of Judah. Thank you. Oh God, Almighty God, creator of all things, lover of our souls, teacher, teach us, everyone, teach us all. Some of us know scripture better than others. Some of us know service better than others. We all have different calls. We are all at different places in our walks with you. But Father, help us look around and instead of picking up stones and throwing them at each other, help us look at the things in our own lives and work on those things and help us reach out in encouragement and offer hope with the words we choose to say and the things we choose to do in the body of Christ as well as outside of it. God. Father, we trust you to fill in the gaps where we, our understanding is, is wrong or where we're missing, missing things. We trust you to teach us because you said that when you sent your spirit to be with us, we wouldn't even have to have a man to teach us. We could be on an island somewhere, no Bible, no nothing, no other human being, just you. And you would be able to teach us because you are the author and the finisher of our faith. You are the holy, almighty God. Praise your name. Praise your goodness, your love, your heart, your patience. We love you, Father. 
We pray these things in the name of our Savior, Jesus. Yeshua, the Christ, the one who has faithful and true written on one side and King of Kings on the other. Thank you, God. Amen. You guys, no matter what you have to go through today, I encourage you with all of my heart to love the people God puts in your path this day. No matter what happens, no matter what kind of response you get, we'll see you tomorrow. We love you guys. Bye for now.